Previously, we discussed about ensembling learning method, bagging method, and we discussed uh, in detail about the random forest. Now let us explore what is XGBoost is all about. XGBoost algorithm is one of the most popular and uh, powerful machine learning techniques. It has been used in most of the machine, the Kaggle and other hackathons uh, by the data scientists. Uh, with the XGBoost, they were able to achieve higher accuracy. Okay, before we dive in to understand uh, in detail about the XGBoost, let's start with understanding what is boosting is all about. So what is boosting? Anybody has any idea what is boosting? Boosting is an ensemble learning method. Okay, boosting is an ensemble method. It is known for the speed, scalability and accuracy. And in the case of boosting, what it does is it um, builds the decision tree sequentially. The idea of boosting is initially it starts with a weak model. It makes a random guess. And then what happens, uh, it identify the errors. To fix the errors caused by the weak model or the wrong predictions made by the weak model, it creates uh, another tree called, at least you know, in this case, tree one. The tree one, what it does is uh, it picks up all the errors or the misclassification made by the initial model and then it tries to fix it. The tree one fixes the errors but not all of them not all of them so in that case it creates another tree so this tree what happens whatever the errors left with the tree one it tries to fix that so then until it fixes all the errors it keeps create iteratively creating the trees sequentially one after the other this is the idea of boosting boosting is the technique used in XGBoost algorithm. Okay, so the XGBoost algorithm is based on the gradient boosting. The XG boosting is XG boost is also called as a extreme gradient boosting. It is designed for speed, scalability, and accuracy. It can be used for tasks like classification and regression, like a random forest algorithm. It supports both um, the regularization techniques uh, such as L1 and L2 reduce the overfitting. And like a random forest, it handles the missing values effectively. Okay, now let us understand the internal workings of XGBoost, XGBoost algorithm. How does it work? To help understand this uh, internal workings of XGBoost, let's start work with a simple data set, Iris data set. This Iris data set I already discussed in the previous session. Probably you can watch that video to understand what is iris data set, what is iris flower, all the things, okay. Here, for the sake of simplicity, only six records were taken. And in this case, the sepal length, sepal width, the petal length and the petal width, these are called input features. These are the four input features are there. Along with that, you have the labeled output feature. With the combination of these uh, two input features and the label feature, let's say we trained our XGBoost algorithm. XGBoost algorithm. So in this case, what happens is it uh, it builds a weak model, weak classifier. The XGBoost uh, making an initial random prediction in the sense that you know, it makes a random guess and it assumes all flowers belong to versicolor. Irrespective of um, the record number one and two, sample one and two belong to Setosa category, it wrongly misclassified that as a versicolor. And if you see record number five and six, though, uh, you know, these two records belong to Virginica category, it wrongly classified that as a versicolor. But record number three and four, the actual species, uh, you know, itself a versicolor, and it, it assigned randomly versicolor, right? It uh, Since both the actual also, the actual and the initial prediction also matching, this became the correct prediction but the remaining four records were wrongly classified. Okay. In step two, what it does is it identify the errors caused by your, or it identify the errors 
that uh, that were left as part of your initial random prediction, the weak model. And then to address these four errors, it creates a tree one. It creates a new tree. That is, let's say you know, that is our tree one. So in this case, uh, the what what uh, this tree one does is it uh, create right this tree tree one learns from our mistakes and it finds patterns to correct them. For example, it might learn that uh, setos of flowers uh, that um, that have short petals and should not be classified as a versicolor or versicolor. Okay, so in this case, it corrects this one. Okay, it you know, it adjusts for those errors. So tree one corrects some of the mistakes of uh, the initial model, but not all. Okay, it's like a um, student learning from their first test, maybe the quiz, they improve based on the mistake, what they made it uh, first time. And they still make a few mistakes uh, when they make a second attempt and third attempt the number of phases will get reduced right the same way it works here okay so in this case it combined the initial model and then the uh, and then the tree one with our right original weak model this means our predictions are now better but still not perfect so look here the first two records were correctly classified uh, you know using the tree one was setosa and the last one was virginica and this one was already already correctly predicted, right? As part of your initial random guess, basically. But um, this one, it was not able to classify correctly. So as part of tree one, we are left with one error. To fix this error, it creates another tree. The tree two, what it does is it um, fixes this error by looking at the dimensions of the model okay dimensions of the uh, the flower and based on which it, it decides okay this is not uh, basically it's a virginica so that's how it fix it got it so our final model is something like this initial model plus t1 plus t2 okay so in this case what happened so we started with the initial model the random guess plus the t1 it fixes some mistakes and tree to fixes remaining mistakes. Now we have a super accurate model. So what did what did we learn from this? The XG boost keeps um, training trees. Uh, it keeps uh, training trees one by one, and each tree fixes the mistakes of the previous one until the error get reduced. Until the error get reduced. That is the whole idea of uh, XG boost algorithm. Okay, to summarize, uh, the in the case of XG boost, it starts with uh, the it starts with a weak guess, starts with a weak guess, and find the mistakes and uh, train tree one to correct some errors. And combine tree one with the weak model, which is nothing but the nothing but the initial model, and then train tree to fix the remaining mistakes. So our final model is the combination of all these three classifiers. Okay. So hope you understood um, why XG Boost is powerful. It's like building knowledge step by step, fixing mistakes along the way. Okay. So that's why XG Boost um, wins so many machine learning competitions. Hope you understood now how the XG Boost algorithm works. And we have also discussed about what is boosting and uh, XG boost algorithm.